Welcome back everybody. We're getting ready to jump in and do revolve. We done the cool command last time. Let's do the revolve and uh, let's jump down here and grab it, which is right here. So I'm just going to click on it, download it, open it up and uh, we'll sling it to the side and we'll open up our inventor and we'll get drawing on this thing. Now, We've already done Revolve command a few times in the class, but we want to make sure that you understand this. This is standard inch IPT is what we're doing. I want to blow this thing up a little bit so you can see it a little better. Uh, so I can see it a little better as well. Uh, click it there. And that looks pretty good. I can see everything fairly well. All right, so let's start drawing this. And what I would do on this one, start me a new sketch up. X, Y plane. And what I want to do is go from my line, start right here, come straight down. Uh, the overall of this is 1.25, so I'll do that. Kind of gives me an idea how to get started. I want to start at the bottom, 4.5. We're only going to do half of it, right? So 4.5 divided by 2, you can do that. And then we'll come up a quarter inch shoot it back and now what I want to do is just kind of eyeball it and go from there comes up comes over goes up comes back goes up comes over goes up again and then back over and I want to stop it somewhere in this vicinity and bring it down this is my axis line over here because this has got a hole in it right here so I guess I really the first thing I could do is just to mention this hole out. And it is one inch, so it has to be half inch right there. Okay. So remember we're working on halves here. This is two inches on uh, all the way down here to the bottom, so we can go ahead and grab that one. And you make sure you're going all the way to the center. So half of two would be one. And of course, make sure that you check your dimension here. It should be a quarter inch. This one's next. It should be a quarter inch. Uh, catch it there. Bring it all the way across. And uh, that should be 1.5. So 1.5 divided by 2 would be 0.75, right? And then the next one here is 1.75 divided by 2. Oh, there's something wrong with that. What did I push? 1.75. Oh, I know what I did. Did y'all catch that? I didn't go from the center. I went from the edge of the uh, the bore. So 1.75 divided by 2. Make sure that's a quarter... Y'all see that? That's going to have to come up. You just grab it and pull it before you do anything with it. And then grab that afterwards, and then you can go another quarter. And then, uh, of course, from here to here on that one is... Uh, actually, it's lined right up with this one. That's why it's throwing that code on us, that error. Um, so that right there is basically it. All right, so all we have to do now is finish our sketch up. And uh, whenever you go to revolve, see how it catches the profile. And then your axis is this guy right there that we made. So have to zoom in there to where you can catch it. And again, it's 360 degrees. Now, if, if for some reason you've done 90, you see what I mean? It will take and it'll only do 90 degrees around. In some instances, you'll need to do that. But for this one, it's 360 all the way around. Okay on that. Uh, it doesn't have a material indicate on this, so we don't have to put that on there. So now, just go ahead and start 2D sketch on the face. Let's put these holes in. There's eight of them at 3 eighths of an inch, 0.375, and the circular diameter is 3.25 diameter. So very simple, very easy. Put just a circle, get it lined up in the center, bring it up through here, and 3 eighths, 0.375 dimension. I want to go from there. To here and that looks like you want to do the radius on this because we're going from center up 
So it'll be 3.25 divided by 2. Boom. Puts it in the right location. Finish the sketch out. Go ahead and extrude that one all the way through. And do yourself a cut. Distance is all. It's cut through. And now put yourself a work axis through this. Go up here and go to axis and make sure you grab the entire cylinder, not just the line. The whole cylinder puts it in there. Uh, now use your pattern tool. Grab uh, your feature, which is this. You can also go over here and grab it. Rotational axis, you can grab it here or you can grab it over here. It doesn't matter. This one's going around eight times at 360 degrees. It automatically counts for everything. And uh, there you go. So if y'all need help with this Revolve, it's a really handy tool. It's an advanced tool, and it'll help you get your job done. If y'all need help, just let me know.